Okay, it is soaking, pouring wet, but I'm gonna go out here. It's storming as well because I wanna show you guys uh, how the rain barrels are working. So as you can see, there's the uh, connected barrels. So if this one overflows, we have this hose hooked here, which will then fill up this one. If this one fills up, then we'll have this one that's hooked up to this one. Surely we, we won't get more than 150 gallons of rain off of this storm. These are each 50 gallon barrels. I'm still in the process of kind of setting up, you know, to make them level. They're fairly level now though. Um, but I just want to show you, this is working, working pretty well. And you can see it catches all the mess, you know, leaves and stuff like that. So let me lift up the uh, filter for you. I'm nuts right now. It's starting to thunder and lightning. So there you go. It's already starting to collect down there. Pretty awesome. Let's put that cover back on. I better get back inside. So in today's video, we wanted to uh, share with you exactly what uh, rain barrels that we purchased. I wanted to show you as well um, how I basically installed these as well. It, it was really easy. And then I wanted to also share with you why I did not go with the collapsible rain barrel. So let's go ahead and dig on it. Okay, so here are the three rain barrels that we purchased. Um, I'm still in the process of getting these leveled. They're not too bad. Uh, currently, I have these sitting on this uh, on these uh, multicolored pebbles, which isn't bad. These are fairly level right now, but I want to get them get them a bit more level. This is what I found online. Got these on Amazon, and you can purchase one, or you can you can actually purchase as many of these as you want. Now, here's why I got three. We got a pretty big garden out here and we wanted to be able to have you know a decent amount of water to actually be able to you know hose down there um so let me go ahead and go over why i got these so one thing one feature i really liked is about how how these barrels are interconnected as you can see here so they supply this hose here and really all you have to do the ends of these let me actually show you an end that i haven't cut off here's a good example so this end right here you simply just cut that off with like a utility knife, really anything, a little hacksaw, about a quarter of an inch is all you need to take off. It took me like 20 seconds to do. And that basically opens those up to where then you can connect this hose. These hoses come with the set. And then you can just use some type of C-clamp or just even like a black twisty tie like I did here um, to connect those. And then the same thing over here in the third one, same method another hose and you can connect these uh, these are 50 gallons a piece um, and then as you can see each one comes with its own hose you simply connect that down there at the bottom and that's it um, it even has a little valve that turns off and on as you can see so pretty convenient um, here you have the uh, filter which comes right off like that nice screen filter as you can see it's already caught caught some pretty good things in there whether it's coming from the roof or little seeds or you know you know leaves that get down in there and then that just easily attaches right back on um, so yeah the filtering system on these is pretty good um, also I wanted to talk about here at the bottom they provide you with a hose right here and this actually fastens around to the back back here and what that does is it basically acts as an overflow and each one of these has it so for instance here you know if all three of these barrels filled up um, at that stage they would each start any of the excess water would start coming out of these three hoses here at the bottom um, now what I'm gonna do with these is is I'm gonna actually um, come up with some type of system to where um, I combine all these into one piping type system and then they'll all feed out here onto the gravel or maybe out here into the grass but for now um, i'm far from having these full so i'm not really having to worry about the overflow but again these come with these barrels these these little overflow hoses here 
and they just run down the uh, bottom underneath. Um, you could put these barrels up on blocks as well if you wanted to. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. So that's really the uh, main features of the barrels. They're really easy to put together. I was able to do the, do the things I said on each barrel. I think each barrel took me like five minutes. So they're really easy to put together. Um, now let me tell you about how I went about getting my gutter ready. I cut enough of this gutter here uh, to where I had a pretty good amount of clearance from the top of the barrel to the cut itself. And then what I did was I just simply bought a flex elbow here and I attached that to the end of the gutter where it was cut. Um, and then um, I bought a little uh, brace here, kind of like a brace attachment here to, you know, just further secure that to the gutter. And, I'll, and I'm going to tell you, uh, this is really secure because we had like really bad storms the other night, probably 60, 70 mile an hour winds. And this thing was very secure, as were the barrels. Um, and I like this because it's really easy, you know, you can maneuver it, you know, you can kind of push it back in, have it go different ways. Really convenient, however, your barrel system is uh, set up. And of course, the water shoots right out, right? Um, and so, yeah, you just have this one gutter uh, pouring into this first barrel, and then all the overflow automatically goes to the other barrels. Um, as you can see, we've already had a little bit of rain, so this one's all the way full. And I actually watched this happen. So this one is full. And so the beauty of it is, is that automatically flowed through that hose. And then as you can see here, this one's maybe about a fourth to the to a third of the way full. So I know this is working well. Of course, this one over here, it'll be a while before we'll have any overflow. So these are definitely working pretty nice. Um, one thing to kind of keep in mind too, is you know basically wherever your gutter is and that rainwater is coming down basically that's going to be the rate of that is going to be based upon the section of the roof that you're using so for me if i back it up here you know that's a decent amount of roofing space there's a divider right to where it's going to go on the section of the roof over here so I purposely wanted to use that gutter because I didn't want these to fill up too quickly, right? I didn't want them to fill up too quickly. I, I didn't want one rain to fill up 150 gallons too quick. So for our purposes, this section of roof here was the perfect amount of surface area. So for instance, that the, the other day when we had that really bad storm, it basically filled up this first one here um, and then about a fourth of this second one here, which is perfect because now I think it's supposed to maybe rain again in another two or three days and then maybe we'll end up you know filling up the other one um so that's just kind of something that you'll have to gauge for yourself and then something else i wanted to uh mention about these two um and i'll do a follow-up video to this but you see how each of these barrels has its own se separate hose which is fine you know and as i showed before you know you know these, these can all be turned off with this valve here so they each have their own hose what I'm going to do for Trina is I'm, I've actually ordered something already. I, I basically want to hook all three of these into one big garden hose. So I have an attachment that's, that I, that's actually on its way in the mail. So I'm going to actually attach these all to one unit. That way she can have her uh, garden hose and reel over here. And then all she has to do is just focus on that, on that one hose. We could then just, you know, leave all these valves on in each of these hoses that, that will run to the ultimate unit. And then that unit itself that I'm going to attach can also, you know, control that uh, water supply as well. So that's nothing that you have to do. But for our purposes of having this big garden, I want her to be able to use one hose to access, whether it's 50 gallons of water or 150 gallons of water. I, I'm just trying to make it easier on her. So I am gonna post a video once I get that piece. But in the meantime, I thought, hey, these are working. Might as well go ahead and show you guys what we have so far. Again, I'm working on getting these a bit more level, but they're not bad at this point. And I also just wanted to briefly talk about, as, as I had mentioned earlier, about the collapsible barrels. There's nothing wrong with those collapsible barrels necessarily. I mean, I went through a lot of reviews and a lot of people didn't rank them really high. Some of them are better than others. Um, the thing that I did like about the 
collapsible barrels is that I wanted initially to have rain barrels that were a hundred gallon, okay? But I couldn't find any such as the ones I showed you. I had trouble finding a quality one that was a hundred gallons. I could find a ton of the collapsible ones that were a hundred gallons, but again, some of them just didn't look real durable and many of them just didn't have really good reviews. I understand that they're portable, you can take them down in the winter, so I totally understand why people would want those. But for our purposes, we actually have space around here. I can, you know, you know, put these in the shed or something like that, um, you know, during the winter months if I don't think I have a need for them. So for me, it was worth not getting the collapsible barrels, but actually getting these more durable, uh, you know, solid state barrels. So I just wanted to mention that one. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, think about subscribing. If you liked today's video, please give us a like. Feel free to leave any comments and we will talk to you next week.